For this video, I'm going to be reviewing Double Dragon for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Growing up as a kid, I had always wanted a Nintendo Entertainment System, but for some reason it never worked out and I ended up uh, growing up around Atari and Sega instead. So now I'm kind of going back and revisiting a lot of the old NES games to see what I was missing out as a kid. Now the first game that I'm taking a look at is Double Dragon. I grew up with Double Dragon the Arcade. Now Double Dragon the Arcade game I'm very familiar with. I played that machine to death as a kid and I put enough quarters in those machines to pay for my college tuition. Uh, just very familiar with that game. Now, as somebody who's played a lot of Double Dragon in the arcade, I just can't believe how terrible a port this game is on the Nintendo Entertainment System. This is absolutely the worst arcade translation I've ever seen. The level design has nothing to do with the arcade machine. The game is literally called Double Dragon, and it's single player only. The double in the title means two player simultaneous action. I mean, this is the absolute worst port I've ever experienced. I mean, the music is good. The controls are decent, but the AI is just cheap. If you die, it sends you back to the, the beginning of, of the stage. So say you get wiped out by a boss, you got to go and fight his henchmen again. It's just, it's just cheap stuff. The other Double Dragon games don't do that. They don't send you to the back of the level. When you continue on, for example, the Sega Master System game, you jump right in on the character you're facing. The arcade machine, you just put another quarter and you continue exactly where you're at in the game. The NES game is just, oh my god, I can't believe how terrible this game is. You can just feel the lazy, terrible programming job that the team did that developed this Double Dragon game. Because the NES is capable of so much better. Uh, for example, a great game that has two-player simultaneous fighting action, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game. That one, the graphics are impressive, the music is wonderful, you can team up with your friend and fight the Foot Clan and Shredder at the end, and you know, you can tell the Nintendo Entertainment System was capable of doing a, a legitimate Double Dragon, so I don't know what this flaming pile of crap is. You know, one of the things that bothers me about this particular game too is, it's an expensive game cartridge to buy. Uh, you're going to end up spending 25 to 30 to $40 um, buying Double Dragon for the NES nowadays if you want a, a clean cartridge. And this game is just living off name recognition because the game itself is awful. It's absolutely awful. And I, all the Double Dragon games for the NES are pretty bad. I mean, Double Dragon 2 was an improvement, but the control scheme on that game is still just absolutely retarded. On that one, you use, like, the left fire button to, to punch and kick to the left and the right button to punch and kick to the right and that makes no sense. Uh, why would not you just punch and kick in the direction that you're facing like every other fighting game ever made? I don't know what was wrong with the team that programmed the Double Dragon games for the NES but those people need to stop making games because these are just some of the worst uh, fighting games I've ever played. There are just so many problems with this particular Double Dragon too. Like, they completely gutted the arcade experience and gave you these weird Nintendo levels with platforming action instead of fighting. And, you know, when you get to the later levels, there are these crazy jumps you have to pull off. And, you know, your margin of error is like nothing. And you can just barely make those jumps if you time it perfectly. And the futility and frustration of this game is just unbelievable. And that's why I'm going to give this um, an overall score of two and a half out of ten. It's playable, but don't destroy your Double Dragon experience with this piece of junk. If you want to play Double Dragon, the Genesis version is very faithful to the arcade version. And if you want to play it on an 8-bit console, the Sega Master System version is so much more faithful to the arcade original. And that one does have two-player simultaneous action, so stick to those versions of this game. But avoid this particular game. And don't spend 40 or $50 on this clunker. It's absolute garbage. Thanks for joining me on this review of Double Dragon. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe.